Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Welcome to Spiritual Psychic. I'm Sarah Wiseman. Today we're talking about the idea that you choose this adventure. And this idea that, you know, you choose and that you have chosen the soul experience that you find yourself in right now. Um, every soul is prevent, presented with during this time of life between lives when we go into Sometimes people use the term Akashic Records. We go in and we select, okay, next lifetime I want to have this experience. Uh, maybe you want to have an easy experience this lifetime. Or maybe you really, really decided as a soul that you want to, you know, I'm going to say like burn through some karma or you want to work through some soul lessons at an accelerated pace. And so you decide that you're going to choose a more challenging path. So here's the thing to remember, uh, is that everyone's big lessons are the same. Um, we are learning on the earth plane, and here's from messages from the divine. We learn on the earth plane through our fear, our shame, our self-loathing, our pride, our judgment, our prejudice, our hatred, our, our anger, our bitterness, our sadness, and our failure. I'm going to just repeat that. It's it's <laughs> kind of depressing at first until you realize that the exact opposite is also being presented to us. We learn on the earth plane through our fear, our shame, our self-loathing, our pride, our judgment, our prejudice, our hatred, our, our anger, our bitterness, our sadness, our failure. So what does this mean? That we're supposed to be in these, these kinds of states? No, it actually means the opposite. It means that these are the challenges that we are meant to move through. These are the challenges that we are meant to move through. These are the challenges that bring us to the soul lessons that we're here to learn. And here are the book messages from the divine states each lesson of separation mastered helps us crack through to the idea that we're really souls that our true experience our true reality is eternal unlimited and infinite and when we get that that's when things start to change so if you accept yourself as a finite soul you might spend a lot of time worrying about what your purpose and meaning is. Uh, you might find yourself worrying about the things that don't work in your life or being disappointed that things didn't work as you thought. Um, you might spend a lot of time fear in fear about uh, your mortality. You know, when are you going to die? What's it going to be like? And so forth. And this this idea of being finite well, it's very limited because it's finite, but it's also very limited in terms of our ability to move forward. When you instead have the idea that, that you are an infinite soul, this lifetime takes on a very different perspective. You understand that you're going to come back many, 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 many times. You understand that you're going to come back in different bodies, um, different cultures, different situations. You're going to have different experiences. You know, a lot of times you're going to repeat lessons with people in your soul circle. Uh, sometimes you're going to be with different uh, adjacent soul circles. But you understand that, like, this experience doesn't stop. Uh, in a part of this book, Messages from the Divine, towards the end, I tell the story about having this dream and I had this dream, and in the dream, I utterly 100% died. And, you know, we're always taught, oh, gosh, if you 
dream of your death, if you actually die in your dream, it means you actually died. So kind of during the dream, I was aware that I was dying. And during the dream, I was aware of that um, warning or, or misbelief about what happens. And yet during the dream, I didn't wake up up at the point of death I actually died in the dream and I knew I was dead and my consciousness the part of me that is not my thoughts but is rather my awareness my consciousness was the exact same in my dream I was shown my consciousness alive my consciousness as I was dying and my consciousness after death and there was no change the body died the brain died but the consciousness or the awareness or being part of everything that awareness of being connected to everything did not change and that is the part of us the soul part it doesn't go away it doesn't go away if we're in a lifetime it doesn't go away if we're in spirit form It doesn't go away ever because it cannot be, it can't, consciousness cannot be destroyed. It cannot be ended. It just is. This is what some teachers talk about. I am that. I am that which is. It's a lot of heady stuff, especially when you're trying to like, you know, buy groceries and drive people around and and do the laundry. (laughs) get along with people in your family and do your job and so forth. It's a lot. But having this understanding of your conscious self can be a very big game changer in terms of your understanding of why you're here, why you've dropped into this particular lifetime and the soul lessons you're here to learn. So this is, we're teaching from the book messages from the divine and you can find more about that and about me at sarahwiseman.com <laughs>